you ever have trouble reading fine print or find yourself holding things an arm's length away to see? Do you suffer from headaches or eye strain? Are you 40 years of age or older? Then you may be experiencing presbyopia. Presbyopia is the gradual loss of ability to focus on near objects as we age and is caused by the loss of elasticity in the lens of the eye. In order to better understand presbyopia, we must first take a look at the anatomy of the eye. The front, or anterior, of the eye includes four basic parts. The pupil is a hole in the iris that allows light to enter the eye. The colored part around the pupil is called the iris. The sclera is the white outer layer, and towards the front of the eye, the outer layer over the pupil and iris becomes clear and is called the cornea. As we look inside the eye from a sagittal view, we can see the muscles that control the shape of the lens. These muscles are called the ciliary body. They are attached to the transparent lens by thin, fibrous annuals. As light enters through the cornea, the iris changes the size of the pupil to allow more or less light to enter, which then passes through the lens into the retina. The retina is sensitive to light, sending nerve impulses to the brain via the optic nerve, allowing us to form an image from what we are seeing. Accommodation is the ability of the lens to change shape, allowing us to bring objects into focus. When viewing something from a distance, the ciliary body relaxes, causing the curvature of the lens to flatten. When viewing a close image, those muscles contract to thicken the lens. As we age, however, the lens hardens and the muscle fibers become less elastic, making it harder for the lens to accommodate. This causes objects at a close distance to appear blurry. Presbyopia is a normal part of aging and can happen to anyone, even those with no prior vision problems. However, the condition can be easily corrected with reading glasses, bifocals, or multifocal contact lenses. With multiple options, it is easy to find a corrective lens that will best fit your needs and lifestyle. Contact your primary care physician if you think you may be suffering from presbyopia.